You want to know the real reason why you're not motivated? Why you just don't seem to have any drive to do anything in life? Where you don't even have the courage to want to level up? Do you want to know why that is? Because you're always chasing short-term pleasures. You will never be successful, you will never get the body you want, and you will never become the person you want to be if you are always chasing these short-term pleasures. So what do I mean by short-term pleasures? These are things that are going to release dopamine in your brain when you didn't even earn it. Things like jerking off, drinking, scrolling through TikTok for hours and hours. These are all examples of short-term pleasures that are going to release dopamine in your brain, which is signaling to your brain that you've accomplished something even though you didn't accomplish shit. They serve you absolutely no purpose in life. Find me one successful person who smokes weed all the time, watches Netflix, jerks off whenever they feel like it, doesn't work out, drinks on the weekends, just does all that bullshit on a consistent basis. Name me one successful person. That's right, you can't. Because when you're doing all these things over and over, you just don't have the motivation to do anything else that's going to provide you purpose in life. That's why you don't have motivation, is because your brain is so conditioned to getting those instant dopamine releases that it doesn't even have to work for. When you're just staring at the clock all day, waiting for it to hit 5 o'clock, so you can go home, order some Domino's, turn on Netflix, and start smoking out of your bong. Like, what kind of life is that? Sure, it's fun in the moment, but what purpose does that actually serve you? Like, how can you sit there and tell me that you want to live this life? that you do not want to level up and become the best version of yourself. But it's like, I get it, because why would you want to grind in the gym on a consistent basis, put yourself through adversity, and not see the results come out the next day, when you can just get rewarded for not doing that? And that's just the society we live in nowadays. Everyone around us just chases pleasure over purpose, which means you really need to have a deep down desire to better yourself. A deep down desire to chase something that is going to get you closer and closer to the person that you want to become. These short-term pleasures are just that. They're short term. They only make us feel good in the moment. I understand this because this was literally me not even that long ago, maybe a year to a year and a half ago. So this is all pretty recent and relevant to me because I would go to raves like all the time. I would drink all the time on the weekends. And when I wasn't doing those things, I would just sit at home and play video games all day. Like sure, it was fun at the time, but all I was doing was just escaping my problems instead of handling them. They served me absolutely no purpose in life. And I made pretty much zero progression from the ages of 18 to 24. I barely changed. And I see this all the time with other men. You see, when you're in your early to mid 20s, that's when you really want to push the gas down and start leveling up. But I get it. You want to escape your problems. But I can promise you that if you start handling your problems when they come up instead of trying to run away from them, your life will change so much. And what can end up happening is that you're preventing these problems to even come up in the first place. You know, your lack of motivation, being in a body you're not happy about. Those problems can all be prevented through consistent action, but you really need to strive for that, which is pretty much impossible if all you're doing is just chasing short-term pleasures. So if you're 50 pounds overweight and at risk for diabetes, why aren't you solving this problem now? Why are you not doing something about this? Are you waiting to be diagnosed with diabetes, then you'll start trying to get in shape? No, what you should do is try to prevent that from even happening in the first place. You're way too distracted with all this noise around you. People are doing the same shit year after year and they end up being the exact same person they were five years ago. I know you probably know people from your high school or your college or whatever that are still doing the exact same shit. And maybe you're in that situation as well. And, or maybe the people around you are in that position and it makes it super hard for you to pull out, to not be in that trap, to not be in that vicious cycle. But if you actually wanna level up in life, feel good, feel confident, happy about your body, be successful, then you're going to have to do the hard shit whether or not you feel like it. It's going to lead you towards the person you want to become. If you're just comfortable all the time, then you are never going to grow. Growth comes from being out of your comfort zone. Like we have it so fucking easy now. We're not cavemen where back in the day you had to fucking fight for survival every day. They didn't have time to waste doing short-term pleasures because they were so concerned about surviving. Going out, getting food, building shelter, figuring out how to stay warm. Those were the problems they needed to solve. We don't have these problems nowadays, so we can just fuck off all day and still get by. But do you really want to live that sort of life where you don't do shit all day and just never level up, become the same person your entire life? Some people want that. But look, I, I get it. We don't have the same problems that the caveman did. But if you actually want to live to your fullest potential, then do the hard shit. And if you're not, you're honestly disrespecting yourself. Even those around you, the, the ones who look up to you. Do the hard shit whether or not you feel like it. And that's something 99% of people can't seem to do because of how fucking easy life is. And just keep in mind that if you're doing the hard shit, the reward is not going to come until significantly later. It can be months and months or even years until you see that result. Once you accomplish that desired result, you are going to feel like you're on top of the fucking world. You are going to be so proud. That feeling when you accomplish something that's super hard and took forever to get to is going to be a thousand times greater than all of the short pleasures you experienced earlier in your life. I can guarantee you that. You'll know what it's like to work your ass off to achieve something great. That feeling of delayed gratification. You'll feel like you can accomplish anything in life. And I'm going to tell you right now, you absolutely can accomplish whatever you want in life. But you have to be willing to do the hard shit. You're going to become a whole new person 
And I can guarantee that when you become that person, you're gonna wish you started sooner. I know for a fact, I wish I started sooner. I wish I started years before, but I can't go back in time, so here we are now. But that's why you need to start now. Now is the perfect time to start. Whatever it is, maybe it's start a business, get in great shape, whatever it is. Just know you can conquer that shit, but you're gonna have to sacrifice those short-term pleasures and rewire your brain to like doing the hard shit. But it's not gonna come easy. It's gonna take time, but there's absolutely no reason why you can't do it. And it's better late than never. But I always think to myself, if I started working towards my goals even a year earlier, I just think to myself how much farther I could be ahead. But you can't go back in time. So now is the best time to start. Do not wait another day. I can guarantee that you know what you need to do on a day-to-day -day basis to get 1% closer every single day. So stop giving into these short-term pleasures because they are only harming you and they do not serve you any purpose. So make the sacrifices you know you need to and see how far you can come in a year or maybe even just a couple months. I can guarantee that you'll be surprised.